Let us see how to connect to Postgres database using SQL Workbench. First, we have to download the JDBC driver. Then we have to get the database connected information. We have to configure the connection using SQL Workbench. Then we have to validate the connection and save the profile. When we say getting the database connectivity information, we have to get the IP address or DNS alias on which the database is running, the port number, database name, username and password. These are the five different types of information which you have to collect to connect to the database. Without that information, you will not be able to connect to the database. And also connecting to database is a special activity. To connect to a database from a remote machine such as your PC, you might have to have a ODBC or JDBC driver. Once you have those drivers, then only will be able to connect to the database. SQL Workbench uses JDBC. That's why we have to download the JDBC driver. If I go back to the SQL Workbench here, if I select this dropdown, and if I go to Postgres, it is saying the library for the driver is not accessible. Do you want to edit the driver definition now? We can say yes. It is looking for some location for the driver. As there is no driver there, we got that warning and also you can see that it is in red color. So we have to download the driver. If you recollect, as part of the SQL Workbench folder, I have created a folder called as drivers. I will copy the Postgres driver to this location. Then I will configure this to use that Postgres JDBC driver to connect to Postgres database. Now let us go to browser, go to the new tab, then say Postgres JDBC driver in Google. You can select this or you can go to download directly and then you can actually select this one to download. It will take care of downloading the latest version of JDBC driver to connect to the Postgres database. It will take a bit of time to download. Once it is downloaded, then we will take it further. It is downloaded. Let me go to this location, copy this. Then let me go to the applications, SQL Workbench, and then drivers, and then move it to this location. Now I have to go to the SQL Workbench. If you are using Windows, you just copy this to whatever location you want as part of the Windows, and then you configure the driver by going through these uh, steps. Then we can go to applications. This is not the one. I have to go to Macintosh HD. There we will be seeing the applications. In this, you should see the SQL Workbench, then drivers, then select this. So once again, I'm reiterating, it's under applications uh, folder in the root file system. The way you can access the root file system if you are using Mac is you can click on this. You can go to Macintosh HD. It will have the applications and then we have SQL Workbench copied to that location. I can go there and then I can go to drivers and then select this. It is uh, selected twice. Let me delete one here. You can see a sample URL. You don't need to do anything here. You just click on OK and then uh, you can give a name to this. Typically, I follow the standard. I give the type of the database first. Let's say PG or Postgres, whatever you want to use and then the server name, which is nothing but ilms.itvc.com in my case. If I'm trying to connect to my localhost uh, Postgres, then I'll say localhost or local. And then uh, the database name, in this case, I'm trying to connect to the database called as sms underscore db, and hence I'm giving the name as pg underscore ilms underscore sms db. Now we have to update the URL. If you want, you can actually save. I think uh, to save, first we have to test. Let's test it and then we will save. Now I can replace this host with ilms.itvst.com. This is the server on which the Postgres is running. Port number is 5432. And then name of database is nothing but uh, itvarsity underscore sms underscore db. You can uh, specify whatever name you want to specify. You should have created a database by now with the name of your choice. You have to use that here. If you are trying to connect to our labs, then uh, the database name will be your OS user on our lab and then underscore sms underscore db. Now when it comes to username, the username is nothing but itvst underscore sms underscore user. The password is whatever password I have used earlier and after that I might have altered. So I have updated with the latest password here. Once we provide all this information, we can say test here. If everything is correct, it should be successful. If it is not successful, then you have to stop here, troubleshoot the issue first, and then you have to take it further. Now you can click on OK, and then you can actually click on OK. Before that, 
you can choose the save password option if it is not selected already so that you don't need to enter password again and again now once we click on ok the profile will be saved if you go to file and then say save profiles it will automatically save the profile and even if you close the sql workbench and you come back to this after a while by double clicking on this still that profile will be there and you should be able to connect to the database without any issue you don't need to test all the time like this once it is tested every time you want to connect you just choose the right profile on the left as of now we have only one profile and it is automatically selected make sure you select the profile which you want to use to connect to and then you can actually connect to the database this is how you can actually configure uh, connectivity to postgres database running on a remote machine or even on your local machine using sql workbench